Could the humble oyster help the construction industry reduce its carbon footprint? London-based architect and designer Muka Sisar Yautin may have an answer with a new sustainable building material she developed, Oystercrete. Oystercrete is a bio-alternative material to traditional concrete um, using discarded oyster shells. Her goal is to eventually use this sustainable material in large-scale building applications. Oystercrete began as a research project for Cesar Yautin, who was investigating alternative building materials. She was inspired by oyster shells after seeing how many are discarded by restaurants. They went through like 5,000 shells a day. So we sort of took that shells and like saw the potential um, in the shells and it's have the same chemical composition as limestone. Cesar Yautin is also the founder of interdisciplinary design studio Matterforms. It's here where she transforms oyster shells after collecting them from restaurants in East London. And then we would combine them into um, an oystercrete mix and all the composition within this material is all natural and the key ingredients, 80% oyster shells. Um, we also use sand and clay, but it's very small um, quantity. It's an eco-friendly alternative to cement, which is responsible for at least 6% of global CO2 emissions. Cement generates huge volumes of carbon dioxide, not only from the coal used to heat kilns, but also during the conversion of limestone into clinker, a key part of the production process. This oyster tray is one of the products Cesar Yautin has created with Oystercrete. We designed this tray so then it can go back into the restaurants and they can serve oyster on a tray. So it's like a fully circular process. So these are sort of our beginning point. She says she's currently focusing on small objects, but eventually wants to use Oystercrete for large-scale applications. <laughs> 